Tracking stock prices is essential for investors and financial analysts. Google Sheets offers a wonderful and powerful built-in function called Google Finance that allows you to import real-time and historical stock data directly into your spreadsheets. In this tutorial, we're gonna walk through how to make that happen and also how you can use an amazing tool like Bardeen in order to make this an even more simple process. Let's dive in to how to scrape for stock data using Google Sheets and Bardeen. So Google Finance is a powerful function in Google Sheets that does allow you to import real time and historical stock prices data directly into your spreadsheets. All you'd have to do in order to make this happen is you can fetch current stock prices with a slight delay of up to 20 minutes. So if I just do equals and then do Google Finance, you'll notice that there is a various number of things I can do. All I have to do is put in like the ticker to get the data in general, like the current price, but then you can add attribute, start date, end date, number of days, interval, all of these different things. So the ticker could be something like NASDAQ G-O-O-G. And then if I close that off, I press enter, you'll see that, let me just add a row here called stock price. So this column would attribute to that. So then another one here, we can put something like NASDAQ and then we could do something like Apple, right? So let's go here and change this to New York Stock Exchange colon AAPL. What would that be? Apple. And actually, if you do get anything correct, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is change this. So I think it's actually just Apple. There we go. Yeah, it's just Apple. So all you have to do is look up like Apple stock ticker, right? So it says NASDAQ AAPL, but I can just do the AAPL because that's like the stock right there. So we can do another one like Microsoft MSFT. Cool. Just copy this and do MSFT. It's pretty simple. And if I wanted to change this attribute here, all I'd have to do is put a comma and then change the attribute. So obviously price is one that everyone cares about and that's pretty much the same thing, right? That's the default. But you can do other things like the high or the low. So we have just reached new numbers here. So we have 190. So if I do the high, it would show 192. So I could adjust this, let's say for example, so I could make a high column and a low column. Let's just grab all of these and then I'm gonna put a comma and put high and then just add that to the end of the rest of these and then do the same thing for low real quick. So not too hard. And in a moment, we're gonna have low. All we have to do is change this to say low. All right, so we have the stock price high, low, and the one it is in the last 20 minutes, which is really cool. But you know, who likes coding and formulating in Google Sheets? Anyone? Bueller? Not me. Like it's great that Google has this capability. However, we have a lot of things inside of Google Sheets that can't as easily be automated and scraped into the product. We have to use other connections to Google Sheets. Like for example, if you notice here, if I type in, equals Google. That's cool. I got Google Finance and Translate. There is nothing else here. Many people use Google Trends to signify different ways that things are going or Google News. This is a great playbook we have for Google Trends and we can export Google Trends data and save it to Google Sheets, for example. But another great thing is even if we don't have a template, we could use our magic box to do something like scrape stock ticker data from Google every day and import into Google Sheets. And if I press generate, it can build a playbook for me that aligns with my request. And I actually updated this a little bit to say, create a daily stock report for certain stock tickers and add to Google Sheets. So starting at whatever time you end up putting every day, you can scrape data in the background and add rows to Google Sheets. All right, so let me do yes and activate. And it's gonna ask me what ticker. So this one could be Apple, for example. So let's use the stock price one that I have. The time is gonna be, just do it for now. The link and the description are gonna be put in here for different fields. And you can see now this is within your auto books. It is a, I did have some premium options in there, but I just wanna call out the fact that like, this is something that you can always tweak over time. It doesn't always have to be the Apple ticker. It can be other things. It doesn't have to be automated. It can be manual. This is just essentially what I've chosen to do. And if you wanna change the time for it, I would absolutely suggest that you do it at a certain time of day. Maybe you wanna send out a message using Slack or something to that effect. What I love about Bardeen is that it adds more of a layer 
on top of just this basic functionality that you have with Google Finance and being able to like automatically have these things update. There's so many extra layers to it that you can then refer to, send notifications to people, talk with your team, talk with yourself. I don't judge, but definitely try out Bardeen, our various templates and the magic box to create whatever automation you're looking for to go above and beyond the functionality that you're aware of in products like Google Sheets. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.